everything set up. And start mixing it around. Right, <laughs> it's freezing cold out here. It's already been some snow the first of the year. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm doing this, but I think I'm gonna go for a camp out. Should be fun. <laughs> clothes and stuff. If I was going on a proper trip, I wouldn't do bags. I'd like put it all in the boxes, but it's only one night, so it should be all right. So I've been wanting to do a bit of a trip, a sort of solo mission on my own, uh, and uh, try and get it on a YouTube video for a while now. So no better time than tonight. It'd be great to try and get some snow there in the morning. Uh, gonna head up to the outskirts of the moors, a little spot I've seen before. Uh, shouldn't be anyone there, which is good. And just uh, go get some provisions on the way, maybe cook some dinner in here. Uh, out of the cold because it's absolutely freezing. I think the wind has died down now, but um, there is snow promised and the moors is the place where we get a lot of it. So yeah, should be fun, wish me luck. Uh, and now yeah, I'll take you along for the ride, it should be good. So we're gonna grab some food for dinner tonight and uh, some eggs and stuff for tomorrow morning. Get some provisions, make sure I get the keys. There you go. Uh, so we can cook tonight. Right, so we didn't have much in there, so I've got eggs and bacon for the morning in a wrap. And I got some rice, and I've also got a store in here with chili. So I'm gonna have chili and rice, or chili in a, a tortilla, maybe, like a burrito. But that we can decide, which is good. Just chuck this all in here. And uh, we're good. I'm going to the bags on my table there as well. Right, let's go. Right, hey, look, a little, nice little uh, crew cab 110 there. Um, just going to head up now to the local village and up to the moors to find our spot. Got one in mind, as I said earlier, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to be perfect or not but we'll have to see when we get there let's hope so as you can hear it's pretty steep having to keep the engine at high revs all the time now uh, this engine is pretty much there compression is way down once the turbo is in it's okay but we've got the uh, EGT sensor there uh, so that's uh, has been helping me in the past, but you know, now I'm gonna sort the engine out so soon that um, I'm gonna sort of just rag it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's really not very fun putting off the line, having to slip the clutch all the time. So I'm looking forward to being able to drive a bit more normally. It's a bloody wrong way, didn't I? Okay, pretty close to the spot. Um, there's a few places along here where you probably could. Um, just wanted to make sure to set an alarm nice and early so it could be up uh, if anyone's around, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine, which is good. Damn it, the, the place where we wanted to go, I just went past, there's someone in there with their lights on. Uh, I don't know what they're doing there. It's funny, the only person I see up here is in the spot where I want to go. Ah, well, we're gonna have to go and have a look again. Just sort of went through to see, it seemed like I wasn't going there, so we'll head back there in a moment and uh, try again. Just stops a little lay by here to lay low. <laughs> Hopefully, that uh, person will go away. Yeah, uh, we're in hiding stealth mode. <laughs> you can't see anything, it's freezing out here. I get the diesel heater when we get there, so we go warm that up, make sure we stay warm because one time before when we were camping cold night I got really cold outside by the fire just didn't sort of stay warm went inside got the sleeping bag out it was all freezing in there didn't have a heater and I was cold for a while so you know if you don't have a diesel heater make sure you're warm before you go in and uh, maybe use a hot water bottle put it in the sleeping bag that'll help loads and just dress up warm as well
just turned the engine off, just got here. Absolutely blowing and freezing outside. So I'm gonna turn the diesel heater on and uh, run the pipe up into the back because it will uh, yeah, keep everything warm and also warm up the sleeping bag, which is good. Then get the curtain shut. So the road that's sort of close to here um, won't be seeing that I'm here, which is pretty good. I've actually done a, I've actually recorded it today, um, earlier today, it was just as windy unfortunately, I'm not sure if this will appear first or second, but uh, yeah, I've just done a full breakdown of the install of my diesel heater, so yeah, if anyone wants to see that, that'll be up soon, hopefully, it's absolutely brilliant, that's the uh, disclaimer, uh, no, the spoiler alert. <laughs> coming out warming up already it's gonna really help out tonight <laughs> I'm hoping once it's warm in here and set up then uh, we don't have to have it on all night I'll warm everything up maybe get a hot water bottle wrap it, wrap it warm get it warm in here it's insulation so good in here that you don't really need it so this is just a towel on here do you stop the top mattress from getting dirty or the dogs come in or you know anything really and the bottom one is underneath. This has been like this for quite a while now, so usually I'll just leave it like this when we're cooking and stuff like that, but I might try and open this up a bit to try and get some heat in there. But to be honest, it's not feeling damp or anything, so maybe that's something for later. Looking good though. One thing I never considered when I was building the whole camper sort of setup was uh, somewhere to put the shoes, you know. Could put them in here, but usually this is full up. Uh, it would be a good place to put them in there, but these are quite big. This is perfect. Just for me, just chuck them up here in this uh, little X more trim storage place. And I don't think they're damp when they're just cold. So good to really warm them up in here now. Uh, get the heater on it there, blow it down there. Need to also clean them a bit dusty, but yeah, just make sure they're nice and warm when you get in bed. Everything's set up, just uh, warm me up the sleeping bag and warm me up my feet. <laughs> Uh, just chilling out really. It's uh, all done now, which is nice. Nice to be out and about again. To be honest, it's actually almost too hot uh, in here, which is always a good thing. I guess I can just always turn it off and turn it on if I need to, but yeah, so warm. My feet are warming up now. The heat is coming up this end, and I'm hoping that once it all warms up in here, they'll keep it warm overnight. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I picked up these the other day. I uh, just pulled the old ones out and I ruined the cable, so I have to wire them in properly. But for now, I've just got these batteries. And that's a really nice light just to have around the outside. So usually, usually I have them all the way around, but just rig those up there. And it just gives a much nicer light, you know. It's all you need when you're in here, when you're all settled down, everything's uh, just ticking over. I reckon it's 25 degrees in here. It's so hot, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's actually just, uh, would actually be too hot to keep it running all night. So need to think about that really. I think just mainly just turn it off when you need to go to bed be plenty and then um, just be ready to wrap up warm so if you wake up in the night and you're cold you just stay warm pretty much but yeah just gonna head out now it's, uh, you wouldn't know from being here because it's well insulated and uh, quiet um, it's blowing a gale and it's freezing outside all the puddles out there are absolutely frozen over so let's go and have a look there's a tour just there we're up on Dartmoor and uh, go and have a little wander about hope it's not too spooky <laughs> up to the tour here you can see the lights down below the villages and stuff forest is down there in the distance you can just about see the number plate <laughs> but yeah to try to get up somewhere here out of the wind it's so windy you almost can't walk into it can't really see it but i just wanted to show you people in the distance there pretty cool that's about i'd say a mile away they've lit up the rocks there and they're going to do some bouldering on the next tour over 
just got all the stuff as you saw out of the drawer unfortunately you can't get to it without going outside the car but what's good it's sort of the bed and the insulation separates that from the inside so in there i reckon it could even freeze tonight hopefully it won't but it definitely keeps it like a fridge which is great ah oh, forgot my rice damn it i have to go and get it in a minute that's what i mean about it being quite boring having to get out every time but we've got the jet boil we're going to use that for the main cooking sauce and making tea and a mug tea bags uh, got this water bottle the other day camouflage store cheers Steve that's good just to have in here because I've got a water bottle on top but that is a bit of a pain to get out every time uh, and it freezes so it'll probably be frozen now anyway <laughs> very very easy bit of chili con carne there I uh, just couldn't find anything in the garage so this was already in the car which is great got my transier pan only the big one unfortunately my smaller one corroded and had holes through. If anyone's got any ideas for good uh, saucepans or frying pan skillets with a uh, Teflon inside for camping, I'd like to hear that actually. That'd be really cool. We've got the little handle on there, obviously, as well. Um, oil, don't need that. Got my non stick smaller frying pan. I've got a big one as well. I want to use that in the morning. So this is just going to heat up the rice. Just going to heat it up the rice on there. Should be pretty good. And also milk for the chili because you want to put milk in there. And that's for the tea as well. So that's pretty good. So we've got the pot support there. See. I don't like cooking on things too tall like this really, generally, but this in this instance it's okay. I like to sort of have it a bit low on the trangia, but um, it's just a bit easier to get this out than to do some proper cooking this time. Be nice and easy to do it like this. Stag's chili. It's actually probably better than making it. So, what's the point of making it? No, it would be cool to make one out here actually one day when it's light and warm and you know, actually nice to be outside. <laughs> nice there you go. Comes out like a little uh, sachet. <laughs> I'm gonna use the saucepan as a bowl. Um, obviously not gourmet, but works, tastes really good. And uh, yeah, very easy as well, especially with the shopping that I actually did. <laughs> Didn't have anything. I was planning on doing something else, but we'll uh, aim to do that when it's bright, light and summer, and you can do it outside, so that'd be good. So it's actually getting a little bit too hot in here. So I wanna do an experiment and turn the diesel heater off and see how long it actually takes to cool down if, if it does you know i've got uh, such good insulation all the way around and then curtains either side that usually when it is cold outside in the summer or in the spring then it stays warm in here with just your body heat so i'm gonna see eat some food watch some videos and uh, see if it stays as warm i'm in a t-shirt so i could just put a jumper on or go to bed but we'll see Just gonna finish up this cup of tea probably just head to bed have an early one you know this sort of environment makes you tired there's not much you can do and uh yeah hopefully either we'll see a sunrise or snow in the morning or cloud and no snow who knows uh but 
should be fun. Um, lots of sort of buffeting wind. Just turned the diesel heater off earlier. Did cool down a bit because I just had the t-shirt on and warmed myself up with this. Turn it back on now so it could be nice and warm before bed and then I'll turn it off as I get into bed and hopefully that means I'll stay warm as I get in. But yeah, cool. See you in the morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> Woke up about 5.45, about 6.30 now, sort of on and off. It's quite cold this morning. Um, no snow, unfortunately, so I've looked out already. Yeah, just might check the heater on now just to warm up this morning. It's pretty cold, but uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing the sun. It'll be good. Knowingly, the diesel heater isn't coming on. What a while. Very boring. Ah, there's no fuel left. Oh, good. Seven in the morning. Just had to fill the diesel tank back up from Jerry Can on the roof. Silly me, should have checked it before we camped. It. No, come on. What have I done? Oh, this just means it's failed to start up twice. I'm hoping if I do it one more time, the fuel will get to the tank or the actual heater, sorry, and uh, start up. This has never happened. Well, it hasn't happened in a long time. Started it up just again then. All right, let's hope that this will do it. Just to get a bit warmer in here. It sounds like good noises are happening. Let's hope so. <laughs> Yay! We have some heat. Yes. Come on, warm up. Look at that out there. So nice to be waking up just with the tour out there. And look, we've got sheep. <laughs> Apparently there might be some snow in an hour. It's sort of been promised all night. And then now it's sort of been pushed into this morning, but the sky doesn't really look, it does look quite gray on the camera, but uh, it looks more slightly bluish. It looks quite like thin clouds. So I'm really not sure if we're gonna get any snow. The bacon and eggs out while I'm there. Yeah, so we need. Quick shot of this. There's actually ice on the window and on the floor underneath the mattress, which uh, wasn't very nice when uh, lifting the mattresses up. And they're a bit wet, but that's something we might need to work on if we're going to be camping in this sort of minus four degrees ever again. So much better than before. <laughs> I had the uh, old one on there last night, it took quite a while to cook, so that is absolutely cranking. Now we've got the new tank on there, which is great. And we're using stupidly strong Cornish coffee. It's a great little clip that I got. There you go, look at that. I'm gonna do a sort of heaped spoon, should be enough for one cup. Next thing you wanna do is get the lid the lid that came with it, poke that through the hole and screw it in like that. And this, just by able to, being able to do that, saves so much space in the lounge room. It's crazy. Really cool. You just put it down, all the way down. And then you just let it go for a bit. It's probably been brewing for a good three or four minutes already. Let it go for five minutes and then plunge it all the way to the bottom. Have some milk. I woke up in the middle of the night uh, I think, not because I was cold, but it was just very cold in the air. I was, had uh, clothes on and a sleeping bag, but no other layers than that. And it was fine. I thought it was middle of the night, but it was actually six. Uh, it's just so dark, obviously, and it was absolutely great. So really impressed with that. And it was also, it was four degrees with a strong wind last night. So that is pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, no complaints at all. Only thing I need to say is to remember to <laughs> keep the diesel tank for the diesel heater topped up there you go look at that no cowboy coffee today no grounds in there which is good perfect cup there you go. nice jet boil gas bottle top all came from camouflage store it's a great place locally steve owns it if you need anything get the camouflage store there you go, that's what you want, that's what you need in the morning. <laughs> right, so this is just a very simple, easy breakfast. Mix up of a sort of a bacon and egg sandwich, 
that uh, you serve in a wrap because it's much easier to eat and hold and cook. Oh, to separate out a bit, a little bit like that, sort of. Looking good. They're very small, maybe three. These are tiny. And there, one. Before they fry too much, you want to get them in quite quickly. That's all right, actually. Two's good. Two small ones. Before it does, you break the yolks and start mixing it around. Gives a nice sort of steady heat. Everything around a bit. Thankfully, this is a non-stick pan. Already oil in there as well. That looks about ready to me. Check that one off. Really, you want to heat the wrap up, but it's quite hard to do in here. If you had a bigger pan, you could sort of sit it in there. Look at that. Add whatever you want. I'm gonna do a bit of ketchup over there. You can do whatever you want in there, really. Egg sort of just binds it all together, which is pretty good. Uh, there you go. And you don't need a plate, don't need cutlery. Do as many as you want. Really nice, easy one to do. I used to think the idea of eating a wrap for breakfast was weird, but it's great, really handy. Right, there's actually finally snow out there now. Uh, not much, it's actually so windy that it's almost blowing it all away. <laughs> uh, but there's definitely a little bit there, so hopefully for over the next few hours it might accumulate a bit. <laughs> Rikey, it is windy and snowy, which is good. I haven't got any water, it's all frozen, so I can't do any washing up. So I'll have to do that later. This is empty as well from all my tea and coffee. So I'm just going to chuck it all in here roughly and sort it out, unfortunately, another time. Because I like to keep things nice and neat usually, but yeah, uh, there's no point now. <laughs> No idea how much you're going to be able to hear me, <laughs> but got the diesel heater running in there. Going to leave Land Rover alone and going to head up there. See if we can get some photos. Right, see you at the top. sort of starting to settle now coming down a little bit it has had more up here obviously the higher you go the better that it is but I've not seen any snow here before so it's pretty cool to see a little bit of it so Morris is just down there I'm up here and I've got this little app here it's pretty cool it's got a uh, tracker installed inside now and you can actually see that's where Boris is parked that's where I am next to the road there and I've got my keys with me with a fob on it so if anyone goes near it or starts, if anyone tries to start it without me there, a alert will go to Scorpion. I'll get a call to say that it's happened and then they can track it and call the police. But yeah, just wanted to show you that. I can't actually lock the doors because it's so freezing. So I just thought I'd leave it open and knowing that it's got all that security there is a, a huge peace of mind. It's really great. You can actually see the journey I took up here and the speeds and when I idled and when I started it. So that's really cool. Oh, so just came in from a little last uh, drill out there, that was pretty fun. 
uh, still snowing a little bit here. Let's check that out. Not much really. I'm sure we'll get comments about how Sweden has loads more, but uh, this is exciting for us, you know. Brits always have to sort of uh, explain why we get so excited because you know we don't get much but yeah it's been pretty cool camping out here I'm gonna go and check out a few other spots and uh try and warm up in here got the dc to running hopefully it doesn't run out of fuel again but yeah um we'd like to try and edit some videos and photos now because i've got quite a few but don't have any power for the laptop unfortunately i'm looking forward to getting a sort of a power bank does anyone have any recommendations for a good battery power bank i'm looking forward to installing one in the back just uh, one that you can uh, take about and uh, yeah that'd be good to charging bits and pieces like with a uh, mains power and maybe charging camera batteries as well which would be important but yeah really cool day looking forward to checking out some more spots hopefully it starts up first time oh very cold there you go Oof. there you go you can see the tour behind us Oh, that is a cold start, <laughs> very rough. Right, so what a night, that was cool. I think minus five it got to. I looked at on the weather forecast. I need to get an outdoor temperature sort of gauge, that'd be cool to be able to see what actual temperature it is. I'm gonna head back down now, I'm gonna go do some shopping, so it's not very fun, but I hope you enjoyed following me up here and uh, seeing what it's like going for a camp out in Boris. And uh, I hope you enjoyed these tall types of uh, videos where you follow me along and uh, you just let it run but yeah cheers for watching guys and uh, again i'll see you next time